And Father, we just, we just believe now that we can call for the provision that you have for us today. Lord, we say give us this day our daily bread. Give us our daily bread. Now, whatever you have need of during this time of prayer, whether it be a resource of an individual, an opportunity, a resource of finances, whatever you need today, whatever is your need for today, just begin to verbalize it before God. Get specific. Tell him what you need. Lord, I thank you today for providing daily bread. Lord, as people pray right now, I thank you that you're supplying everything we have need of. You said you will supply every need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Lord, we declare our daily bread's coming to us now. Lord, even in the midst of our problems, our daily bread will come. I thank you that there is no lack. We declare that to be so today in the name of Jesus. There is no lack. I have everything I have need of today. I'm well supplied. So, Lord, I just believe you for daily bread. Wherever you are, just call on it. Ask God right now. Say, Lord, give me daily bread. Father, I believe you to supply everything I have need of. In Jesus' name. And let me, let me encourage you as we continue to pray and build a place for the presence of God. God is going to come and meet with you. And as his spirit begins to touch your life, he's going to begin to shape you today. You're not going to be the same man or woman you were when you began this time. This is a supernatural time. You've come to do business in deep waters. Spirit begins to talk to spirit. God begins to commune with your spirit. God doesn't talk to your emotions or he doesn't talk to your feelings or your head. God talks to your spirit. For the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. So God begins to deal with the inside of your life. And he grows you from the inside out. God changes you from the inside out. You get big from the inside out. Ephesians 3.20 says he's able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all you could ever ask or think according to the power that works in you. God's at work in you today. So go on and thank him right now for your daily bread. It's on the way. Go on and thank him that his kingdom is coming in your life. Just give him praise that your household today is walking in the power of God, that there is no limitations on your life today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As God begins to speak to us, he begins to talk to us about things in our hearts and lives that he wants to change. He begins to deal with heart issues. See, one of the keys to being current in the move of God is you have to have a listening heart. So I want to lead you now in a prayer. Proverbs chapter 4 says, Watch over your heart, for out of it flows the issues of life. So I want you just to pray now and say, Lord, give me a clean heart. Give me a clean heart. Lord, today I want a clean heart before you. I want to walk with purity in my heart and my soul. I don't want attitudes, bitterness, unforgiveness, jealousies, offenses. God, clear them out of my heart today. I ask for a clean heart. Lord, you said in your word that you would give unto us a heart that was pure and clean. And even right now, we, we declare along with David, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me do not cast me away from thy presence and do not take your holy spirit from me restore to me the joy of my salvation and sustain me with a willing heart so lord right now we just declare you're working in our heart father thank you for cleaning my heart today cleanse my heart today i want a clean heart oh god if you need to speak forgiveness to somebody, do it right now. If somebody's offended you or hurt you, if you're walking in bitterness towards someone, if there's a memories of the past that continue to haunt your present, speak forgiveness to them right now. The Holy Spirit of God is right there with you wherever you are. Listening to this CD, wherever you're at, the Spirit of God is beginning to speak to you. 
let those bad issues go. Let those disappointments go. God's given you a brand new heart today. He's creating within you now a right spirit. From this day forward, you're not going to walk in the memories of the past. You're going to walk in the power of his presence. Speak forgiveness. Forgive those who've abused you. Forgive those who have maligned you and misunderstood you. And as you release them, God's going to cause your heart to soar. And your spirit will rise. Father, we just speak forgiveness. We speak a word of release now in the name of Jesus.